Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back, Sim UK here. Two Point Campus, fantastic game. Obviously started off as being uh, Two Point uh, Hospital and it's kind of done a full circle because Two Point Campus are about to release their Two Point Campus Medical School DLC. I think it's quite reasonably priced, £8 or just under £8 at full price, £7.19 with a 10% discount. You can get three new campus locations, two new courses, two new student art types. Not quite sure what that means, to be honest. Uh, lots of patients and illnesses, 60 plus new items, and emergencies, helicopters, fires, and ghosts. I am sickly Hawthorne, coughing and sneezing on Two Point Radio. Later in the show, I'll be heading to the local medical campus for a routine checkup and experimental treatments. I've always felt that healthcare is like getting a haircut. Sure. It's important, but sometimes I want it done on the cheap by someone with limited experience and the confidence to match. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think the DJ is a part, the funniest part of this game. This is where we'll be starting out. We've got, uh, um, uh, what's this, a dormitory with one, two, three, four beds in it. So that'll c uh, cope with 20 students. Um, you want to try and get the uh, prestige of this as high as possible. It's only level 3 at the moment, so we might work on that. Very small single toilet, very small single shower. Um, so probably a bit of work required there. But that's quite a nice unit, actually, that whole section there. That could be taken, copied, and moved somewhere else. Um, I'll just quickly show you the surrounding area. You can see we've got one, two areas. Is that clickable? Yeah. No, okay, one, two expandable areas there, another one 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 there. It could be huge. It can be enormous. Right, so we want to get the uh, the level up as high as we can. Uh, let's try and use as much as we can the additional content. Quite a few new little bits. This is one of them. It's like a blob chart. I don't think we had that in the original. Pick that in the corner. Now, one of the things that's most important is the treatment power. You really want to pay attention to that. This has a plus six treatment power. This has a plus two. And this little thing up here has a plus four. Gosh. That wants me to build a library. So we'll finish off the ward. We'll get ourselves a nurse. Oh, this. Now, this is good. So we've got a doctor there who is an inspirational speaker, motivates student, students to work harder. 5% chance to inspire students. So we're going to grab him whilst he's on. And we'll grab her as well because she's also got this happy thoughts, makes themselves happy. So she keeps herself, or rather he keeps himself happy. Which at this point in the game is quite important for us. So they don't go to class. They uh, just observe the teacher uh, healing the patient. That's how they learn. And you've got to upgrade the teachers, the equipment, and the room in order to get the best medicine. Uh, and then you've got a certain amount of time before they just storm off, basically. So if you're too slow, like we were, then they'll leave. So far, you've been well equipped for every illness on campus, but that's about to change, should I say, switch. There have been cases of lightheadedness. You remember that from the um, hospital game. Uh, research my notes on the illness to see if you could develop a treatment method. Now, you will have to research this as I did the first time. Just makes me wonder how I did so well the first time. It really does. But I've already unlocked it, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, so I'm just going to pop a head clinic in here. One of your patients has failed treatment and become a ghost. When this happens in the wilderness, I could just wander off. Sadly, you're stuck here with your failed former patients. You can see that's why... That's why I hired this person right at the beginning. Janitors qualified in ghost capture can collect ghosts and stop them from haunting the campus. It's really important you do that because it makes people run around like crazy people. There we go. Just in time. Just in time. Let's see how well we did. 
100% pass rate, 81%, not quite as good as my first attempt, but uh, we did get the best teacher award and we got 12 students continuing on into year two. Pure rate is nearly 75%, but lightheadedness thing is not quite happening yet. We'll get there. Okay, uh, so that's pretty good. Definitely too many people waiting for stuff. Level 2 Doctor. Two level 2 Doctors. Nice. Uh, so we'll take both the level 2 Doctors and we'll fire that level 1 Doctor. Because we really don't need you. Losing money again. We're nearly there though, we just need an emergency to come in and then that's level one completed. So we're running out of cash real fast here. Apparently our monthly profit is uh, plus 5,000, so... I don't see why we should be losing money. Might help if we were re doing some research. Uh-oh, we're in debt. Right, emergency head clinic. People coming in. Uh, I'm going to push them to the front of the line and see if that helps us. Right, fingers crossed, guys. This will get us our third emergency ticked off and then we can progress. Send to pastoral care. I've clicked it, but it just doesn't go. I can't pick her up. Oh, we're losing people left, right and centre. Oh, we've done it! We've completed three emergencies. We've just got to get our cure rate up to 75% now. I don't believe this. Yay! Oh, man, I tell you what, I did that in 50 minutes. I did it 35 minutes quicker uh, the first time. 30, 45 minutes quicker, bloody hell. Go on, hit me with it. How many failures? 90% average, 98%. One person got expelled because she got stuck. That's not my fault. Campus of the year, academic excellence, and best teacher. Damn, I should have just stuck with my first playthrough. It was so much better. Thinking if I have multiple smaller ones of these, then because uh, you could only get one nurse in in each one, then I could have multiple nurses working multiple rooms, and that would definitely speed up things. Right. So when they upgrade. That should give me the 50%, uh, 40%. Oh, we're well over 40% then. What am I doing? Why am I trying to get 50%? This one? It's 28%. What's this one? So this room is 50%. So it's only got to be 40%. So I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. Get rid of that. That's it. We've got three wards now. That's 15 patients. No, it's not. It's 12 patients at a time. But, because there's only one nurse working in each ward, they'll be able to um, treat them properly. Instead of running out of time and energy and stuff. So he's trying to heal the first guy. These are A plus and A students, one through... Two cured. End of year results published. Three cured. Four cured. Okay. That's 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 eighty five percent, surely. Oh my god, look how close we are. Eighty seven percent. Oh no. Why have we lost students? They literally just finished and left as we hit eighty five percent. Cannot believe that. This was more like how I was doing on my first level. Okay. Best teacher. Contribution to research, rising staff, academic excellence, cutting edge campus, campus of the year, queen of clubs, and king of hearts. We've got 20 points to spend, which means I can't do anything to anything. So we'll just start next year. How many students have we got? 98 of 80. Right, this is it, we're done. Movement power is up to 18%, but that's still really, really, really low. <laughs> well, the campus keeps ranking up. Uh, we're definitely going to achieve this this year. We just need to hit 90% just for a second. 
at the, any time next year and, and it's done and we'll have completed the lot. 75%. When patients receive treatment at your medical campus, they will either be cured or treatment will be unsuccessful. Depending on their illness, unsuccessful treatment may or may not result in death. Cure rate is a measure of how successfully you're treating your patients. To improve cure rate, in general or within a specific medical discipline train teachers upgrade equipment and support your course courses with additional items like what oh, it's a dead patient though 80 percent 83 percent come on 85 percent 88 percent get in there smash it out right now 90 percent heal somebody anybody come on heal someone Yes! Wow, that was hardcore. Got a gazebo, that's nice. Groovy. Right, that's it, guys. That was hardcore. Not necessarily the best playthrough in the world, but I had to figure out some stuff. We definitely had some bugs there. Some uh, pathfinding issues and so on. But, um, yeah, mission completed. Um, overall, quite happy. And um, fingers crossed, we'll uh, be able to stick to it in the future. Let's uh, twenty-five level seven, I think. Groovy. Right, we've got that for next time. Lots of lovely kudos points there for me as well. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, oh, let me know your thoughts on the game. This is such a hard game sometimes. It gets so intense, so complicated. And it's very difficult to figure out what you can do to improve things. But our grade has gone down. Student happiness has gone up, but our grade has gone down. You'd be forgiven for thinking that student happiness, you would think student happiness results in high grades, but it doesn't seem to. All right, well, listen, um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.